Hey everybody, today's dish is hanger steak sandwich with Mediterranean vegetables and potato wedges. This is deliciously mouth-watering and juicy and just oh, so good, so let's just get stuck in. The potato wedges take the longest to cook, so let's start there. Grab a chopping board knife and a roasting tray. Take around 10 large baby potatoes and chop them into quarter wedges. So now we need rosemary and thyme. Pull the leaves off of the rosemary and with the thyme just tease them off with the tips of your fingers. These two herbs have great flavour when they're dried so if you have dried to hand then use that. Pop everything into a tray together, put olive oil, salt, pepper over the top and massage everything together to show it a lot of love and then pop it in an oven at 180 degrees celsius for 25 minutes or until deliciously golden brown. So our Mediterranean vegetables are up next. You need a frying pan, chopping board and knife. And for the courgette there, you can see I want everything nice and flat so it fits onto the sandwich nicely. So thickly sliced and round, the same with the aubergine. And if it's a nice fat juicy aubergine like here, just slice it one more time down the center into like half moons. So for the pepper, chunky slices are good here. And then take your onion and slice that down like with the aubergine and the courgette. So nice and thick round slices. Don't use water when you're washing your mushrooms because it actually hinders the frying process. Just peel the dirt off with the back of your knife or scrape it off. And then slice your mushrooms down the center so that they're round and flat. A quick tip when you're peeling garlic is to carefully crush it slightly with the knife and the skin just comes away. And then just chop it up. Take the leaves off of rosemary and thyme, the same amount as we used for the potatoes, and then grab some olives. I have about 10 or 12 olives here, and I'm just pulling the pit out from the center with my fingers. If they've already been pitted, you can still use your fingers to pull them apart, so you won't miss out on the messy bit. So now to fry all the veggies off, you need a really hot pan and some olive oil, and start with what takes the longest to cook. So first with the onions and the peppers, let them brown on one side and then flip them over and add your mushrooms to the mix. Then when they get some colour, follow with the aubergines and the zucchini slices and keep an eye on the pot, you want everything to be soft and juicy. The wedges have been cooking away for 25 minutes and look and smell so good, all crispy and lovely colour on them. So the veggies are cooked too, so make them sizzle with a splash of white wine vinegar. If you haven't got that to hand, balsamico would also work really well here. So it's steak time, which makes me so excited. I have three pieces here, about 100 grams each. Just season it with salt and pepper, being generous with the pepper because it can take it. And then place it into a searing hot pan with a dash of olive oil. I'm looking for medium here on my steak. And you'll know when it's medium when the red juices start to come out from the inside and then it's just a case of putting it aside to rest. I can't stress enough how important it is to let your meat rest after you've cooked it, before you slice it, so that the juices stay locked inside and keep it just tasting delicious. So here's an optional really quick side salad where I put some baby leaves into a bowl, slice some cherry tomatoes in half, put lemon juice, salt and pepper and toss it all up and it's done. So now we're going to make a garlic and lemon mayonnaise, which is really si simple and quick. Just chop your garlic up really fine and then cover it with salt and that's going to act like a sand. Then you can carefully press your knife down on top, be careful not to cut yourself, and grind it down into a puree. Then take a lemon and take the rind off. I did about half of the rind of a lemon or a third and pop that in, mix it up and there's your garlic and lemon mayonnaise. So for the fun bit now is bringing everything together. I've got a fresh onion baguette here. If you can use any baguette you want. Uh, if it's not fresh, if it's a little bit stale, just wet it slightly with some water and pop it in the oven until it gets crispy and it'll be as if it was freshly baked. So slice your baguette in half. Make sure it's not too hot when you slice it or it'll just go to mush. And then put your veggies and your mayonnaise all lined up on the inside with your olives. 
slice your meat at an angle and you'll see here because of the resting how lovely and juicy it is it's also pink from the medium cook and then just take some more mayonnaise pop it on the top half and crown your steak sandwich just squish it all together so this kind of recipe is perfect if you're gonna sit down for a movie with your mates or just hang out it's delicious and filling and just so, so tasty. Just give it a try. Let me know how you got on. And if you want more yummy recipes like this one, don't forget to subscribe and like if you liked it.